What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Hulu series Trill Season 3, aka Final Season. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Hulu for granting me the screeners to this entire new season. At the end of season one, Annie said F off to her job. And then at the end of season two, Annie said F off to her boyfriend, which leads us to that aftermath in this new season. And trust me, you'll get more of that F off here as well. But for reals though, this series finale does not conclude on a high note. It's not necessarily disappointing, but it's not satisfying either. I'll put it this way. The writers are not giving you the shrill ending that you need, but it's the ending that the character Annie deserves. Think of it as her getting a taste of her own medicine and reaping what she sows. Season 3 is the reckoning of Annie Easton. Executive produced and show run by Ali Rushfield, Trill is a comedy series about a woman who seeks out ways to change her life without changing her body. Season 3 finds Annie energized by her breakup with dud boyfriend Ryan and her newfound momentum at work. Annie feels like everything is finally falling into place for her. But does she actually know how to get what she wants? Starring A.D. Bryant, Lolly Adafopi, Ian Owens, John Cameron Mitchell, E.R. Fightmaster, and Patty Harrison. In terms of comedy, this is probably the funniest season Shrill has ever been, which is a shame that they're closing the curtains right when the writers finally found their groove. I'm not saying that the previous seasons were not funny, but this one, they further play up the boss's narcissism with a book tour, which John Cameron Mitchell sublimely executes. And Annie's neurotic curly blonde co-worker gets more spotlight, and she is a fantastic comic relief. Even Annie's roommate and her girlfriend seem to let loose most of the time. I feel like previous seasons' brand of humor were a bit dry and ambiguous, whereas this one has more form to it. It's clear the jokes that they're aiming for. So in this season 3, while things might be looking up for Annie, there are times when she still drops the ball along the way. Mainly because, let's face it, Annie is a hypocrite. She calls out people who fat shame her, and yet, she has a problem dating somebody her same size. But that is what makes her a fascinating character, isn't it? Because there's a bit of Annie Easton in all of us, whether or not we want to admit it. We often project our insecurities onto someone else and disguise it as some sort of a moral superiority. Season 3 definitely serves as a parody of today's feign outrage and cancel culture, judged and sentenced by the court of public opinions. What I will truly miss the most is A.D. Bryant in this performance. A.D. might be the fourth or the fifth on the list of supporting actors on Saturday Night Live, but on Shrill, she is Annie Easton, just like James Gandolfini was Tony Soprano. It's one of those roles that just fits like a glove. A.D. boldly embodies Annie's weaknesses and strengths with cheerfulness, self-loathing, and fury. And we wouldn't want it any other way. Putting aside the body image issue, Shrill Final Season goes to show you that if you make decisions without stepping back to see if it's a good idea, it might bite you right back in the butt. But as I said earlier, maybe this is the ending that Annie deserves, like her very own cautionary tale. You have to feel empowered first before you can go preaching about empowerment.